Here we will want to know if there is a difference between the grades of the students who are seated at the front, the middle, or the back of the classroom. So we have here grades from the front students, grades of the students who are in the middle, and grades of the students who are seated at the back of the classroom. So to compare them, we first set our null hypothesis. Our null hypothesis is all of them. All of them are equal. What do you mean by that? Um, their true average or their true mean are equal. That means there is actually no difference between, no difference in grades. Or, or the seats doesn't really affect or affect the grades of the students. The HO, or the HA, or what we call the alternative hypothesis, says that seats as a factor means they are not equal. So seats seated in front, seated in the middle, and seated at the back are actually will result to different grades of students. So we will use ANOVA here, what we call the analysis of variance. Now, how to use it, especially in Excel, we will click data. Here in data, we will use again the data analysis tool. Click the data analysis. And we will have here ANOVA with different factors, single factor, two factor, but we will use the simple one, which is ANOVA single factor. And we will click OK. Then select, select the whole table. And this table is divided by column. So we will select column. Again, we will select column because they are divided by column. We will click label because we have a label above, front, middle, back. So we will click label here. Alpha, significance, level of significance is stated in the problem. We, we want an alpha that is 0 0.05. You can change it into 0 0.01 or 0 0.1. It depends on the problem and then our output range. Our output range is where we want our data, the summarized data, um, be written or be shown. So it will be here. I will click OK. So our output will be here, and I will click OK. So this is the summary. First, we have count. Count is how many data sets you have. We have seven for this one, nine for this one, and eight data for this one. So seven, nine, eight. We have the sum. Sum, if you add to this, you add this, you add all of this, these are the sum. The averages, the individual averages of each column and the variances of each column. But the most important part is the ANOVA part. The ANOVA part says that we have this sum of squares between groups and within the groups. And we have here the total. This is the um, degree of freedom. This is 3 minus 1. That's the degree of freedom. And if you add this, minus 1 is the degree of freedom within groups. Now, the most important thing is this 2 and this one. So that's the most important thing because it will show you if we reject or we accept the null hypothesis. So let's draw it here. What do you mean by this? F critical is where you put the boundary. So this is a drawing of an F curve. Yeah. It says here in the F curve, once you reach the F critical, once you pass the F critical, that means you will reject the null hypothesis. Okay, once you pass 3.4, the F critical, you will reject the null hypothesis. And what is our result? It's actually pass it. Our result is 5.8 and it's somewhere here. So therefore, we will reject the, the null hypothesis. Therefore, we will reject that all of them are equal this means they are not equal. The grades of students who are seated in front, 
in the middle and the back have different results. That means being seated in a certain position actually affect the grades of students. They are not they are not just similar. But the problem with ANOVA is we don't really know which is better. We don't know if front is better, middle is better, or back is better. So if you want to do that, you do the T hypothesis. Now, what about the p-value? The p-value is another way of checking if it's if we reject or not reject the null hypothesis. It's more of if it's less than less than the significant level. If it's less than this one, that means we will reject. And yes, that's actually less than 0.5. 0 0.05, that means we, again, recheck the null hypothesis. We recheck this one. So the answer here is the HA. They are not equal. So front, middle, back are factors when it comes to grades of students. And that's how we use ANOVA.